What's up guys and welcome back to the Dream Machine. We are into chapter number four. Chapter four and we have, I don't know why I keep grabbing onto the wasass like it's gonna do anything. There's our lovely Alicia. Let's go ahead and examine what's going on there. Alicia's still under the influence of the machine. Yes, she is, but she should be safe for now. I won't be able to wake her until I purge the machine from all dreams. Right, so we were supposed to knock people out. So did he murder the guy that left me that little note? Oh, what do I have? Apartment key and the devices, got it. Can I just, like, knock on your door? Maybe just ask if I could... She wouldn't appreciate if I barge in uninvited. I'd better remain polite. Just a moment. I'll be right... Yeah, like, if you could just come out here, I would like to discuss possibly entering your noggin. If that's alright with you. Just a question. Why, hello, Mr. Neff. I'm sorry to disturb you again, Edie. Oh, don't worry, young man. One of my guests just abandoned me. So, we had to put the bridge game on hold. What can I do for you? There's something important we need to talk about. Oh? I can see that you're upset. Why don't you come in, dear? Let's discuss this over a cup of Lady Grey. Oh, that always soothes my nerves. I'll come in? Yeah, man, I thought we were gonna gas her, but if we can just knock her out with, like, a pole or something, that probably... I need to make Edie fall asleep, but how do I do that? Sure, they can't just knock her out. Well, don't put that off just yet, man. You don't know that. You don't know... Oh, umbrella stand. See? Blunt objects... Maybe just explore your apartment, Edie. Just give me a second. Uh, turn on the water. Skin cream? Just some skin, scre skin cream? Uh, photo. Child is playing under an old tree. You have a picture of yourself in the bathroom, Edie? You have a picture of yourself in the bathroom? Oh, washing machine's in here. Are you in the kitchen? Edie! I'm just putting the kettle on, dear. It'll take a while to boil, but we can talk in the meantime. Pick up pot. To whack her with? Eatster, Eatster, your friends, your friends creep me out. Is this Mrs. White and and, and Mr. Mustard? What what are the what are the clue names again? These these guys look like they're from Clue, and not in a good way. Mr. Neff, allow me to introduce Peggy Driscoll to my left, charmed I'm sure, and Bucky Bradshaw to my right. Hello, Mr. Neff. They're two of my most trusted friends. Anything you can say to me, you can say to them. Why don't you take a seat and tell us what's been bothering you? Oh, are you, just gonna, are you guys just gonna chat amongst yourselves? Um, are you just, just gonna chat amongst yourselves? As much as I would love to in, uh, enter this conversation, bye, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> enter bedroom? Yeah, man, I'll enter a bedroom. She doesn't need privacy. Oh, they're all fiction? She seems to enjoy murder mysteries. Okay, window... The widow in Edie's bedroom is overlooking a quaint yard. It belongs to the neighboring estate. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, let's go to the basement and knock him out. Let's just go ahead and uh, hop down to the basement and incapacitate her and her friends. What's... Oh, looks like an old ventilation... Ga That's where the gas must come through. I'll be back, Edie. I will be back. I, I left your, your door open so that I could get back in after I knock you out. Yep, and schwappa. Am I out of gas? Uh, examine slot. Oh, it's it's out of a cylindrical. Oh, we need to find some gas. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. A minute. Hold on a moment. I remember. I remember. I remember something we can do now. Uh, no, sorry. I meant floor one. My bad. We gotta go to Mr. Morton's office because Mr. Morton's office is holding up something that we need. And it's the screen code! I wonder what's behind that secret door. No, I'm already on it, man. I am already beyond the door. Uh, there seems to be something written on the wall. So it's kind of code, kind of code, kind of code. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a take a picture. Take a picture of the code with my phone. Uh, six. What else are we looking for? Uh, one. Six, one. Six, one. That's two. We want a six, one. Six, one. Three. Six, one, three. Six, one, three. Six, one, three. All right. Hi. See, see, I am so good. I am so good at puzzlage. Like, I feel like this game specifically has made me better at puzzlage because I will be wandering around this game for hours at a time. Like, you don't even know the amount of times I have been just wandering around here for like three, four hours, and then you see like maybe ten minutes of that just because I'm I'm just trying to figure out the puzzlage. Uh, six, six, which way? It's one. Two, three, four, five, six. 
One. One, two, three. There we go. There we go. Look at my pooslage. Look at my amazing pooslage. Enter secret door. This is where we find the gas. Oh, no, it's not. It's his secret gas laboratory. Give me the book. Looks like Mr. Morton kept a notebook. I'm stealing it. Is it here? Uh, Mr. Morton, I've managed to improve. Oh, I've got to make the potion. I've managed to improve father's recipe again. Toasting the petals before powderizing makes them way more potent. But I have to be careful not to burn them. Any charring ruins the batch. Oh, whoa, braniums. Oh, the ideal way to administer the sleeping agent would be in gaseous, gaseous, gaseous form. I'd, I'd have to make adjustments to make sure enough transfers across the blood-brain barrier. With a high concentration, I might be able to pump it under the apartment doors. The patient would have to be quite close to the door, otherwise I'd have to enter the apartment. A risk I dare not take again. Again! Who are you entering? That looks like a nozzle, a noozle, a, a snow, a snoo, a snoozle? A snoozle? A snuffle? Why did I freeze? Oh, hold on. Okay, I don't know how long I was frozen. I don't even know why I froze. It had no reason to freeze. We're, we're not doing anything crazy, okay? We're, we're playing in a point and click. Calm down. And this looks like a, a dog snout is what I was trying to get across when I realized my brain was... Because he's got a little mouth and a little snoot. But I'm pretty sure it's also a brain. I'm pretty sure it's also a brain. Right now, it looks like we'll only be able to keep the clinic open for another year or so. After that, we'll likely have to start subletting parts of the estate. Hopefully, this will only prove to be a temporary solution. Oh! Door code A to B? Door code A to B? Do I need to write that down? I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write everything down because I trust myself to remember nothing. <laughs> The experiments on the patients in 2B have so far proved fruitful. Their youngest seems to... This youngest... Youngest... How young? How young? How young, my dude? How young have you been testing on? Because that's concerning. Are you testing on children? Don't test on children. That's... That's worse than... Okay, see, now I'm not... I don't feel bad that I was mad at you... Or I was not nice to you when you died because you... You are, are so bad of a person. Their youngest seems very receptive to the compound's effects. Falling into a deep sleep for a full day even on minimum dosage. A full day. Unfortunately, this has alarmed the parents who sought medical advice on several occasions. We will have to suspend further charting until the attention dies down a bit. Our findings so far. The younger the patient, the closer their dreams appear to be to the center of the dreamscape. See, we already learned this. But even an infant is already removed from the core of dreams. How can we get closer? Been testing on infants. On infants. Father came across the travel diary of an anthropologist who'd encountered a fast-acting poison that included hallucinations upon ingestion. Oh, induced them. It induced them. Well, it, it, it included to induce. He traced it to a tribe of hunters who would dip their arrowheads in the sap of local... Lophophora? Lophophora, I think, to tranquilize the prey. According to his descriptions, the sap was so powerful that it would cause the village to hallucinate for hours after devouring an animal. An animal. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen to me. Words? Words are not wording for me today. I'm doing my best though, okay? So we're going to get the clearest of clear speech that we are going to acquire at this point in time. It took forever to grease all palms to secure a sample. Oh, but the sapling should arrive within five to six months. Okay, so you're trying to acquire this so that you can really you can really mess with people's brainage. So if you really wanted to get to the core of a dream, you, you might just have to, like, invade the brain of a child in the womb. Our wife is preggers. Our wife is pregnant, and he's trying to get closer so if the dream machine really wanted to get close to the core of the dreams, it would not just attack Alicia, it would attack the thing that's inside of Alicia. That's not going to bode well for us. Alright, let's... Oh. Oh, is this like a whole, like, thing? Oh, look at this! Look at you! <gasps> oh, there's a wall! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. I knew it. I skipped, but I knew it. I knew it and I skipped. I knew and I skipped. I skipped to know it. Alright, hold on. Let's just, let's graze through whatever he was talking about over here. 
Uh, new patient, 3A, Martin Willard, born eight, er, 1984, unmarried. The new patient is set to arrive on Tuesday. Patient? <laughs> he used to think that's a tenant, my dude. He didn't specify any next of kin, but has AIDS over regularly due to his disability. I see. I look forward to seeing how his physical limitations manifest themselves in his dreams. Uh, given the highly illegal nature of this, some of this these species, I've installed some makeshift security measures. Oh, this is it. This is the thing. It's practical... It's impractical, but hopefully I'll be able to rearrange the apartment into a more comfortable living space soon. I'm currently working on a method of remote... I'm currently working on a method of remote deployment. It works, but the patient still has to be quite close to the vent to be effective. So I have to get her in... I have to get her close to the vent. Powder funnel, vent selector, powder indicator, gas canister slot. Got it. Got it. Wait, what? Vanilla cupcakes? Sleeping Beauty pizza sauce? A few yellow onions, a few tomatoes, sap from a maple tree, crush a clove of garlic, add some water. So this is, um, this is how you feed people to sleep. Also, why wouldn't you just put this here? That's gonna aggravate me, because you really could have just put it right there. A sleep clinic forced into foreclosure? Oh, hi, Mr. Morton. How you, oh, 1997, look at that. Uh, one of three less is sick Economic downsizing cited as main reason for closure. So that's not bad if he was closed for, like, economic reasons, but I have a feeling that's just a cover-up for real. Again, why? 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 It's not necessary. Just put it on one fucking page, Morton. I'm amazed at how much I've been able to improve the recipe. Looking back, my grandfather's methods seem so barbaric. I rue the maltreatment of the patients under his care. Oh, yeah, no, under his care. Under his care, they were really mal maltreated. But no, you just testing on infants, that's, that's, that's no problem, man. That's normal. You're doing it humane. You give him cupcakes. I know he probably did as well, but he was too proud to admit as much his note. Uh, you know, you know, fuck you. Uh, fertilizer powder to fresh powder. You know, we'll get to that. I'm sure we'll need those later. That's why we're carrying this thing around. Oh, hey, it's us. I was able to rescue the situation somewhat with my sob story. Can I take these off? Can I remove these so I can read that? You bitch. Fine, I won't read it. As a safety measure, I'll forge a marriage and death certificate in case I need to back up any incoming improvisations. Oh. Unfortunately, I'm almost out of carrier gas. I've placed an order, but who knows how long the delivery will take this time. Oh, at least enough ultrasound. Oh, it's just a baby. It's just a baby. You can't test on the baby. Anything to say about that? Oh, pick white petals. Gotcha, gotcha. Let me go ahead and see what else I can pick. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute because we do have door unlock A to B and it did have A to B in the book, but we'll... Oh, can I not access... Oh, did you freeze? Did you freeze? What is going on today? What is happening today? See, I got up early, I sat down, I was ready to record and do my job properly, and nothing's working! Okay, you know what? It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fi You're gonna make me Alt F4 you, aren't you? Okay, fine. Well, Alt F4. Well, let's go here real quick. Don't you dare freeze on me again. No, 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 don't freeze. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Why? Why are you freezing? Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna see real quick if I can figure this out. Before I get frustrated, because I want to, I want to play this game. But I don't. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can figure this out. Give me a minute. Oh, uh, I uh, yeah, um. Do I? I'm kind of frozen. Is it supposed to? Okay. The voice is really falling apart. Pick up. Oh. Okay. Well, we got something different. At least we got something different. That's a positive. We got something different. But lighter. I'm afraid to pick up any of my normal things. Uh, the gas can I do I ex examine the gas? Compressed gas. Okay, well we're getting somewhere. Okay, maybe if I pick these things up without picking the pedals up. Did Mr. Morton suffer some kind of ailment? Okay. Okay, we've picked everything up. Oh my god, I've wrapped myself in my cord. <laughs> okay, we picked everything up, and we didn't freeze. We're just gonna not touch the uh, book. Maybe maybe there's something we're missing. Because I want to do the A to B part, I guess, first. But I guess let's give him the shock of his life before we do anything else. 
Uh, take three, take three shock, take three shock of his life. Here we go, here we go. Whoa! Yeah, so scary. All right, let's um see if we can find um anything in here. We've got to be missing something in here. Why are you perforated? Why are you perforated? Can I like? Oh! Oh! Sleeping powder. A few. It wasn't a recipe or anything. It wasn't pizza sauce or pup cupcakes. It was the sleeping. It was the sleeping powder. I. It was perforated. Okay. Well, I. This was smart. Now that I think about it, I was mad that you. Would, okay. It makes sense now. Never mind. Let's just do this. Sleeping powder. A few yellow petals from the yellow petals. A few blue petals from the blue petals. Sap from the Lagoris Gaganus, and um, crush Nefidibishi, which is his medication. I'm assuming. Yep. Nefidibishi. Nefidibishi. Adoricum. Emrim and Doricum. What is Emrimim? I have the Doricum. Where's my Emrimim? I guess we'll pick up our petals. Now that we have other things, I don't see the reason why we wouldn't be able to pick up our petals. Once I pick up my petals, I'm going to save, though. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Because we're getting places. I'm going to be saving so much. So much. So much so. Because I don't trust any of this. <laughs> It's frozen too many times now. And I froze too, but I'm doing good. See me? I'm doing great. I'm fantastic. It's the game. Alright, we've got lots of things now. We've got lots of things, but I think we need something from the door because we don't we're missing an ingredient and we've got um we've got our A to B. Like that I'm not confused about. We've got our we've got our A to B. Wait, whoa. Wait, what is that mean? It's like commas. <gasps> Oh, I'm so stupid. One. Oh, wait. Two, eight, four, six, nine, one. See, it takes a minute and it takes a little freezing, but we get there. Uh, two, eight, four. Two, eight, four, nine, six, one. That wasn't. Six, nine, one. Six, nine, one. I'm dyslexic. Two, eight, four, six, nine, one. That's my bad. That's my bad. My apologies. All right, let's let's go see what Mr. Morton's hiding behind secret door number two. The hell is that thing? You see, when I was imagining a root, I was imagining like a like like carrot size, maybe. But that's a it's a big carrot, man. Hey, the bark on this thing is coarse and leathery. It's extremely tough. Oh, more pills, more pills, more pills. Are those my... Cheers, Mr. Morton, you old fool. I don't want to cheers him. He's a horrible human being. Is a faucet sharp enough to cut it? Oh! It's a pool of brown sludge at the bottom of the bucket. I get it. Yep, ceramic be beaker. No, not... I don't want to eat. No, I'm not trying to get you to eat it, buddy. I'm just trying you to move your noggin so I can line it up with the faucet. There we go. <laughs> Nothing happened? Open faucet. Collected some of the cactus sap in the beaker. In the beaker. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're getting places. We've got uh, cactus sap. Perfect. Okay. Great. Now we just have to follow the instructions. I'm pretty sure we got everything. Oh, I don't like touching this thing. All right. Let me just save again because I'm going to start touching the thing. And when you touch the thing, bad things happen. I'm going to start touching you, buddy. I'm going to need you to calm yourself. Okay? Don't get spicy with me. Let's let's find our, our recipe. I don't know. Where's my recipe? I just had it. Oh, here it is. Sleeping powder. Toasting the petals before powder. Oh, so I have to toast them and I have to powder them. Gas make lighter work. Good. Gas make lighter work. And then we're toasting the... Oh, no, 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 no. Drop the spoon. Drop the spoon. I didn't put it on there. Oh, hold on. Just leave the gas on for a minute. I, I'll be back for it. I promise. I need a, what kind of petals? No, 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 put the fucking petals on there. Toast them. Okay, toast them. Toasty. Are they toasting? Oh. Are they toasted? Is that toasted enough? What is toasted enough? What's your version of toasted? Uh, do I put them... Do I put them in... Maybe I'll drop it first and I'll pick them up. Can I pick them up? I gotta click it. There we go. Okay. Toasting the boys. Toasting them up. Are they toasting? There they go. Okay, they're toasting. 
The smoke stops. So I'm going to assume when the smoke stops. I get nervous. The smoke stops. They're toasty. Good. No, I, th I'm, I have to pestle them, right? I have to pestle them? Oh, good. Good, good, good. Do I add them both? Do I add them one? Let's turn this off. I don't like how that's going. Let's just turn that off for a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them both in. Oh, I have to. I'm, uh, yeah, I got you. I got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Okay, yeah. Crunch them, man. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's one at a time. It's one at a time. It's one at a time. No problemo. If the police came in right now, this would look so suspicious. I am making a very big portion of this. I would just like to say that. Like, this is this is a very large portion of of um of uh, things going on here. Well, I do have to knock out every single person in my apartment complex. Okay, that's all the things, except for the sap. So now can I just, like... Uh-huh. The contents of the beaker turned into a strange powder. I better be careful. I'm getting dizzy just being close to it. Okay. Thank goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and... Achievement unlocked. That means we're doing something right. Oh, well, should I just carry around the petals? You know what? I'll, I'll just spread them over Alicia's body. It, it'll make it nice and nice and majestic. Am I just supposed to- because I'm supposed to knock them all out. Am I just supposed to, like, like, cupcake situation them? Am I supposed to cupcake situate? I'm on the second floor, right? I think maybe I just- I should just- because she was asking- the lady at the table it was even asking for another cup of tea. Oh, yep, yeah, no, that'll do it. That'll do it. Hey, Edie. Hey, Eatster. Edemus. Back for some more tea and pastry? I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Oh, no one's gonna be able to resist. So, Mr. Neff, tell us what's on your mind. The landlord is surveying every apartment in the estate. Mr. Morton was using the tenants to... Uh, uh, <laughs> Just died in the basement. <laughs> I need to put you to sleep to enter your dreams. I could use a hot cup of tea right now. Well, um... I don't really want to come on too strong. I don't want to, like, scare her away or her friends. So, if I could just put you to sleep so I could enter your... Is that some form of rhyming slang? You youngsters are so creative. What's that supposed to mean? I have no idea. I want to see you flounder and hear your screams? Why would he say such a thing? I don't know. It was all I could come up with on short notice. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Well, I did already talk to her about the whole surveillance thing, so does she have anything else? There's hidden camera in every apartment. That's astonishing. I can show you the room with the monitors if you want proof. No need, dear boy. I believe you. It reminds me of an event I experienced back in the 50s. Oh, oh were you surveyed before? I was unloading a survey car when all of a sudden I heard gunshots going off all around me. Preferring safe to sorry, I ducked behind the nearby dumpster. As I hunkered down, thinking my last moment had come, I noticed that the gunfire had stopped as quickly as it started. Turns out I had just overinflated the tires a bit. Turns out I had just overinflated the tires a bit. The heat had made them pop. I never made that mistake again, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, well, I, well, I'm guessing, um, gunshots, yeah. I'm guessing this is just gonna be, um, the same thing each time. We'll find an excuse to not talk about it. I could use a hot cup of tea about now. All seems quiet in the kitchen. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, no, it's my bet. Did my helmet just clip onto my head? Hold on, Edie. Hold on, Edie. I took your pot. I took your pot, and that's on me. I took your pot. Uh, use pop stove. That was my bad. Okay. Now I would like it. Well, the vent's right there. I could have just smoked them from the... Am I supposed to smoke them from the basement? No, because there wouldn't be dialogue for this. What? Am I supposed to... No, wait, no, 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 shut up, Mr. fucking douche dick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hold, no, shut up, everybody, everybody shut up. I'm gonna go figure out what's wrong with your fucking pot. Edie, do you know how to do anything on your own? All right, it's on, there's water, I've drugged the pot. Can you please just go make me a cup of tea? Our landlord just died in the basement, if you care. If you, if you really care about anything, I'll just let you in on that. He died? You mean he's drunk on the job. In my day, we'd call it corpsing. No, he's not drunk. He actually died. Good riddance. <laughs> they never last, do they? I had a landlord die on me once. He was old, and I wasn't actually around when he kicked it. 
But apparently he shot himself in the middle of the yard. He used a fine caliber bird shot, so it took him a week to die from the injury. They had to guard him in shifts, keep him from pulling the IV out of his arm. That's horrible. I wish I could fly some time. God damn it, man. You're not even in the conversation. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I've asked all the questions. T, I hate all of you. I hate all of you. All right. What's, what's nothing? Never mind. I, no, it's, no, let me, uh, stop clipping my dream. I see, and it clips the dream helmet on my head. So I'm in the, wait, fucking please. What am I doing wrong? The stove's on. The stove was on. I've done all the things, Edie. I don't really know. I don't really know what you need me to do. Why, why can't you hear the water boiling? Edie. It's boiling, Edie. It's boiling. I hear it. Can I hear it now. Thank God. <gasps> that shouldn't have taken this long. Yes, let me go. Go, go. Get the pot. Good tea always tastes better in a nice cup. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does, Miss White. I don't know how you do it, Edie. That's what they said last election. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you trailed off, but... Oh, I'm afraid the tea is getting cold, guys. Yes, we mustn't let the tea get cold again. Good call, Victor. I'm gonna sip, everybody sip, 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 sip. Is this a different brand from before? No, it should be the same. Sleep. This batch seems a bit off, though. There's a slightly chalky aftertaste. And sleep. I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna... I am so sorry, Edie. I, I probably... There was a pillow right there, too. I had the option to prevent this from happening. I, I chose to let it happen. All right, Eadster. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in your dream. Let's... Descender. Oh, you can't reach her sitting down? My bad. My bad, man. I just was... There we go. Sit down. And... I'm just trying to look out for myself this time. There we go. All right. I like how my head doesn't slam, though. I'm good. I'm fine. All right, Eads, what you got here in your dream? I forget it hurts. I really always forget that it hurts. Speaking of which, shouldn't she be on the outliers of the dream area? This looks strangely familiar. Well, um, that's it for this chapter. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss, you know, the other dreams. There are two more dreams, man. Two more dreams and a baby to save. And oh my god, the baby will probably take us to the center of the dreamscape. Would you look at that? We'll be the first to explore it. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna call it here. Um, I will see you, Booskies, later.